Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanna do one more thing with our app. I wanna take this message here and I wanna display it on the page rather than alerting it. And then after that, we'll just kinda of do an overview of what's all going on here and here, just so you guys get the full picture because it can get a little confusing with all these parameters and arguments and everything. So that's the plan for this video. Let's get started. So the very first thing we wanna do is go to our index page right here. And once again, you can find that in views, home, index.cshtml. And within here, we are going to make a div and we'll give it an ID and set it equal to welcome messages. <laughs> All right, save that, go back to our JavaScript. And then what we can do is we can in here, get rid of that alert, open that up so we got some more room. We can get that element in our JavaScript by putting a dollar sign, parentheses, and then put quotes, and then put pound welcome messages. So that is going to get the element from our HTML. And then what we're going to do is use an append method, and we're going to pass in the message. So now, when we go to our page, and what we do is we're gonna refresh refresh it, our message should appear in our HTML, and it works. So now let's try it with two browsers, and you'll kind of get a little better of an idea of how this real-time application junk works. So we got one open, let's open another, and we'll give this page a refresh. Sweet, okay, so as you can see on the left side, it also put the connected. So no matter, when every single time I refresh, it's going to post that connected message on the other browser. So these are effectively both working on the same app at the same time. They are real time. And just to make this a little prettier, we can go back to our index and we could add a, or actually go back to our uh, JavaScript and we could add plus and throw in some HTML here to make a break tag. Now let's give it a shot. Let's go back to our browsers, refresh, go back to this one, refresh, and you can see there it shows the connected message on the other one. All right, so let's just do a quick review about what's what all is going on here as it can get a little messy sometimes. Let's start with this, the client side. So the very first thing is we make the connection and once that's done, we console log it and then we reach this um, announce method on the server and we pass in a string connected. On the server side, and guys, you can right click and you can click a new vertical tab group and that'll display them both at the same time. So now we can kind of get a little better view here. So we pass in this data. On the server side, it is expecting a string and it gives it the name message. So that connected meets the qualifications. Now it takes that message which contains the data of connected and it sends it to the announce function of all the clients and just re-pushes that through. So on the client side, it receives that down here. So this function takes a message, which would be connected, and then appends it to the element with the ID of welcome messages. That is essentially how the whole process works. For some clarification, there's basically two things here when it comes to passing data. There's parameters and arguments. Parameters are the variables that hold the data. So like for example, string message here, that is a parameter. An argument would be the data we pass into it. So in this case, connected is the argument for the announce method and it gets stored in a parameter named message. That parameter message is then resent out as an argument of the client side announce function. And then on the client side, it accepts that as a parameter and then announces that in the HTML of the element with the ID of welcome messages. So that's a lot of words and a lot of stuff going on. So just study it, make sure you got it down. And in the next video, we'll be doing something even cooler. So thanks guys, I'll see you then.